Okay, so there's going to be one thing that's a little bit different today. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to um, work on accessing your subconscious mind in a, in a different manner. During the session, there might be something that I ask you, like, if you want to access you know, and, and allow yourself to go and to where your subconscious mind thinks it should go. And if you don't respond immediately, it's not an issue. You know, just be patient with yourself. Just allow yourself to to open your mind up when this occurs. And, um, you know, just feel calm. And when you hear this, just remain peaceful. And it's okay. It doesn't need to be an immediate response. And during this period, just kind of tend to your breathing. And while you're letting your mind kind of mm -hmm. allowing itself to, you're, you're releasing a, um, a beautiful bird from a cage and you're going to let it fly. And if the bird doesn't necessarily want to fly out of the cage immediately, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon though, any, any um, organism and any creature wants to be free, right? So that's okay. what we want your mind to do. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, um, same thing if you could do me a favor today so your legs i know that it feels super comfortable <laughs> um because i'm going to be checking your hand remember that sometimes i'll touch yeah. here here shoulder and I then have one right here okay that's fine um is that still okay you don't have any injuries or anything like that from uh since the last time i saw you okay and so what we're going to do is just practice breathing remember you're going to give yourself a beer gut mm -hmm. I'll do that every night. Yeah, feels good, doesn't and it? I realize I am so used to breathing through my chest yeah. that I don't even know how to breathe through my gut. Yeah. So I'm practicing that every night. Good. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And that's going to tug on that nerve that releases all your mm -hmm. really happy, happy hormones. So just practice your breathing. Inhale, making yourself have a beer gut. And then exhale. You can make your exhale be, uh, you know, kind of kind of loud, it's okay. <sighs> Give me three solid breaths like that. You wanna? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Just working on your breath, getting back to that place that makes you feel so, so relaxed. Go ahead and relax your eyes and all the tiny muscles around your eyes fully and completely to the point where it's as if they just won't work. Each breath that you take takes you deeper and deeper and more and more relaxed. Go ahead and test your eyes. Test them and satisfy yourself that they just won't work. Good. And go deeper, relax as you send that relaxation all the way down your body from the crown of your head, down your shoulders, down your arms, down your chest, down your waist to your legs and down your calves all the way down to the tips of your toes in a moment I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and close them and go ten times deeper 
Go ahead and let your eyes open. Now close them and just relax 10 times deeper. And in a moment, we'll have you open your eyes and close them again. This time, just allow yourself to double that relaxation. Let your eyes open. Now close them. Good. Doubling that relaxation. That's right. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes one more time and then close them again. This time, just go much deeper. Let your eyes open. Now close them much deeper, way down. Good. Melting into that chair. You're doing great. Just listen to the sound of my voice. And the sound of my voice can always help you to go deeper, relaxed. In a moment, I'm going to pick up this arm by the wrist. And when I pick up that arm, just let it be loose, limp, and relaxed. And whenever I drop it, just let it fall back down and help you to go much deeper. Just let that arm be heavy, like a wet towel. There you go. Nice and heavy. Much, much deeper. Good. Now that we have all your physical relaxation, you can begin to relax yourself mentally. You'll count backwards from the number 100 out loud, slowly. And as you do that, just relax them right out of your mind. Begin slowly now and just let them go. 100. Fading, fading out of your mind. 99. Deeper and deeper. Relax. 98. Relaxing them right out of your mind. 95. Just let them go. To the point where you just can't remember any more numbers. Relaxing them right out of your mind. Good. In a moment, I'll begin counting down from 10 to 1. And with each number, you'll feel yourself. Go deeper and deeper. Relax. Ten. Welcoming, embracing these feelings of heaviness and relaxation as you continue to release the here and now. Leaving behind all thoughts, allowing the present to fade into the background. All stresses fade away. All concerns fade away. Just allow your mind to go deeper. Nine. Knowing you are always in complete control. As you allow yourself to continue drifting deeper and deeper, you begin to notice how just the simple act of breathing increases the heaviness, deepens the relaxation. Eight, aware of everything going on around you. These are just normal everyday household sounds that leave you completely undisturbed. They only increase your feelings of safety, comfort, and security. 
seven. Every sound you hear, every breath you take, even every thought you have carries you deeper and deeper. Six, drifting down, following the sound of my voice, releasing all that has passed with ease, for the past no longer defines who you are in the present or the future. The past no longer has power, control, or dominion over the present or the future. Five, releasing all yesterdays. You look toward a future that is bright, shiny, refreshed, and happy to go to sleep and happy to wake up because each time you do, it brings you more and more energy. Four, knowing, understanding, that you have within you all the power you need to change yourself on any level. This knowledge fills you with a new confidence. I can sleep soundly and feel rested. I will sleep soundly and feel rested. I am able to sleep soundly and feel rested. I choose to sleep soundly and feel rested. And I deserve to sleep soundly and feel rested. Three, all negativity begins with a single thought. And as you've already seen, and as you already know, these thoughts can be changed. Allow all the empty spaces left behind by tension, worry, fears, to be filled now with calm certainty. You have the knowledge, you have the ability, and you know how. You have the confidence, you have the understanding, and you know that you can. You have the power. And what you think today creates your tomorrows. Your thoughts, your words, your expectations have power. And only you can choose to make them positive or negative but you choose to make them positive. You choose to surround yourself with positive thoughts every day, thoughts that allow you to drift into a deep sleep every day, thoughts that make you excited to go into deep sleep every day and each day that you do this, it reinforces the next day. Every time you feel refreshed, you feel energy, you can be present for your family and your clients, and that gives you more and more conviction. Two, only you have the right to make the choices and decisions that affect your life your choice, your decision. Your choice and your decision is to no longer allow yesterday's negative thoughts, negative mental patterns, negative attitudes, beliefs, ideas, or habits to create your tomorrows. No longer will you allow yourself to be bothered by those habits, those habits that interrupt your sleep. No, those habits will be gone. For each day we are given the opportunity to recreate ourselves. 
Yesterday is past. All your yesterdays are past. And they are in the past where they belong without power, control, or dominion. You have taken whatever lessons you need and it's time to leave all the rest behind. Tomorrow is a dream, for it is not yet reality. Therefore, it is still able to be shaped, molded, created. And today, the present, the here, and the now is all we have. Today is new. Unsullied, unmarred by any of yesterday's events, it is a clean, unwritten on slate, ready to be filled with positive thoughts, positive words, positive actions, creating a new and positive future. One, so deeply relaxed as you surround yourself with these comforts, these certainties, and follow the path that opens up for you. A path that may seem strange or familiar, but it is a path steeped in serenity and peace. A path that allows you to approach sleep with such happiness. And here in this calm, quiet, you rediscover wisdom and simplicity. You have unlimited potential and you have unlimited power and you're only limited by your own thoughts. There is no longer any need to judge or criticize yourself or be hard on yourself. You're free to love who and what you are right now. You are free to change any part of your life you want to change and keep all the parts of your life you want to keep. It is clear as you travel this earth path called life that you are on a journey. Life is the road, not the destination. And as you travel, you are in the process of becoming. You are never a finished product. You are always growing, changing, learning, evolving and becoming. In fact, that's what makes you so special. This inner knowledge is far greater, so much more powerful than all the knowledge of your outside world. Acceptance, strength, confidence, power, peace comes from within your mind, not from outside sources. Now hypnosis is a process about making suggestions and having your body believe you. So in a moment, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to discover the power of your own imagination, your subconscious mind. In a moment, I'm gonna count forward, starting with the number one. And with every number that I say, begin to notice Begin to imagine, begin to allow your eyes to begin to twitch, tighten, and squeeze down just a little bit more tightly shut with each and every number that I say. One, those eyes beginning to twitch, to tighten, and squint a little bit more with each number that I say. Two, that's right, the eyes beginning to squeeze down more and more tightly shut. Three, squeezing on down as if like a clamp, like a vice, as if once they squeeze, they stay that way. Four, that's right, locking on down as if they become glued, stuck, tight, and shut. Five, so tightly down that even if you were to try and open the eyes, they just squeeze down tighter. Try and they just simply squeeze. Try and they just squeeze. Keep trying and quit testing. Relax your eyes and send that feeling down across your body, 
going much, much deeper. In a moment, I'd like for you to imagine a whirlpool that is swirling around in your mind. In this whirlpool are thoughts of the past of yesterday or yesteryear. These are the thoughts that no longer serve you and that keep swirling around, circling, swirling, swooshing. These thoughts may include stresses from living the natural course of life. And these are things that may not change, may take a long time to change or require resolution. And these are thoughts you're going to learn to release so that you can give your body the rest that it deserves. They may also include unpleasant experiences of the past. Maybe guilt, blame, shame, fears, or whatever crosses the mind. Because these are all unnecessary and unnatural messages and experiences that have been standing in your way of your natural given right to sleep. And I want you to pull the plug now. Pull the plug and let all of these thoughts from the past just drift and drain away. Let them all get sucked down the drain now as you pull the plug, swirling down and drift and drain away. Every last negative thought just drifts and drains away. Good. And with the inch exhale that you take, as you relax more and more deeply, deeper and deeper. You will make a promise to yourself that will help you sleep. This promise is that you will only think of resolving stress during your alert time. Your alert time is when you want to be awake, when you really need to be awake you agree to think about resolutions and problem solving only during your alert time. So for now, you release all stresses, concerns, issues, and so on. You release them to a higher light. Imagine a higher light, a spiritual light and this light is likely to be where you have come from and to where you will return to. It's your right to be connected to the light. And as you focus on it, it gets brighter and brighter. You feel its warmth and peace. You allow its warmth and peace to reach your body now. It feels relaxing serene, peaceful, and very tranquil. You allow this light to relax your body and you release all tensions that may have been trapped in your body to the light. You release all your tensions into the light where it will hold them and be given the chance to transform them. You release all your cares from your mind now into the light. In the light, these thoughts may be given the chance to be suspended there for now or perhaps transformed there. You let them all go now out of the mind, out of the body. Released from your spirit, you let them go. 
The light wants you to do this, so you let them go. And as you release all tensions in the form of thoughts and feelings, you relax more deeply, much more deeply. Your breathing reaches a new relaxed level or deep, deep sleepiness. Your mind begins to drift as you allow it to sleep. Sleep. You may even say the word sleep to yourself as your mind drifts, drifts deeper. The mind drifts and wanders into a deep direction of deep sleep and the body relaxes to a deep, deeper level now. The body just starts to melt into the pads that you're laying against. Your body simply lets go. Simply lets go. You relax, sleep as your body gets heavier and allows the pads to support all of your weight now. The pads want to support your body and your body simply starts to float into a new direction of deep, deep sleep. You are sleeping more deeply now. You are falling asleep more quickly in the future and you release and let Go. You are staying asleep longer now because if you should happen to awaken briefly, you tell yourself that you're simply going back to sleep into your body. This is natural. Your mind will give the message to your body to go back to sleep so that you sleep all the way through until you need to get up. You tell your body that it's okay now to sleep. Sleep all the way through until it needs to come back from sleep land. You will feel well rested at that time. Well rested. You exercise your natural God-given right to sleep. Your inherent spiritual ability given to you at birth to sleep like a baby, which is to sleep naturally. So your body will want to get more rest more often in the future. You have more confidence now that you can just let your mind and body do what's natural more often. Each and every day, you find yourself looking forward to sleep and it just happens naturally. It happens naturally and you sleep all the way through the night. You simply trust that your mind and body will do what's natural to let go. Release yourself fully and completely to sleep. Natural sleep. Simply letting go. Trusting that you can simply let go now. Fully and naturally sleeping. Allowing your body to do all of the things that it does at night while you're sleeping. Repairing, sending messages, fully and naturally sleeping. And you feel better during your waking hours. And you can think more clearly because now 
have, you now have the ability to sleep and to sleep naturally. And that thought provides you so much peace, knowing that the ability to sleep naturally is in your hands. Every day when faced with the choice, you find yourself sleeping more and more naturally, deeper and deeper sleep, restorative, happy, peaceful sleep. In fact, the idea of it makes you smile now, thinking about how in control you are of your future in your sleep brings you happiness, brings you solace, knowing how all that sleep that you're gonna get is gonna make you that much better, that much better as a mom, that much better as a trainer, that much better as a person. The thought of that allows you such happiness and it's there it's your choice all your choice and even though today we've only had a few minutes of hypnosis together these thoughts suggestions and experiences will become a part of you simply because you choose them. Over the next few days, you begin to find yourself thinking more clearly, concentrating more easily seeing things as they are, taking action, taking control, even from just these few minutes of hypnosis we've spent together, all of the things that we talked about, the peaceful, drifting, restorative, happy, sleep, you will do all of this, not because I said some fancy words, but because you want to, because you desire to, because you can. And when you're ready, at your own pace, allow yourself to open your eyes. Wait, I thought you said your shoulder was... The other one. There's no one here. <laughs> nice job. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember? Nothing and everything. Come on. Remember a whirlpool? A whirlpool? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. That's yeah. alright. I had a lot of thoughts going on through my head, though. Tell me about them. Just different, like, 
being happy about my heart of hearts. Mm. Being excited about that. Yeah. Being in my little office slash dining room. Nice. Doing all the gratitude. <laughs> nice. And then how to have Lucy. That's your friend, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she lives with me right now. Just kind of good thoughts, thoughts just all over the place. Everything. Mm-hmm. It's good that you're working towards improving your sleep because being able to do this will help you and be able to help other people. You did good, Sylvia. Why don't I remember? I did not fall asleep. <laughs> I, know, I know I did not fall asleep. It's okay. It's part of the process. Okay. I'll be cool with that. You're definitely, <laughs> I mean, you're, you have a lot of... Uh, one of your uh, characteristics of hypnosis is your eyes are constantly moving around. Mm -hmm. Like you have a lot of eye flutter. Mm -hmm. And then your um, your feet move around quite a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, not like, you're not like kicking your right. legs around, but your, your toes are kind of jerking around. My hands are like pulsating. Yeah. They're like floating. That's the last time that happened too. Yeah. But I felt I could go easier to the relaxation. You know why that is? Traffic. Probably that daily little exercise, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah, and this is your second time. Right. So, it just gets easier and easier. That was the one thought that I had, that this is less awkward and more relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's good. Yeah. Man, you're going to be a, you're going to be like running off to get, become a hip certified hypnotist pretty soon. <laughs> I'm going to put, put that on my to-do list in 2015. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? I want to go to sleep now. <laughs> Just think about that feeling tonight. So let's do one review about what um, what I'd like for you to do. It's kind of an a, a, um, advance from... 